Solar Blast by prolific Portuguese dreamer and rising indie star Paulo Lameras is a delightful bite-sized retro arcade shooter that came out in dreams a couple of years ago but it's still just as relevant now as ever was and I've wanted to do this quick little video for ages. First published in June 2021 and nominated for a glut of awards at that year's Impe celebrations, you can see straight away what this game is ultimately about. You'll be flying around in a horizontal style while shooting, dodging, trying to keep your combo going and collecting power-ups as you launch a retaliation strike against colonists from another planet who are quite jealous how well your own planet's doing. The controls are simple, as you just move your left stick or d-pad to navigate your ship, and then there's only two other buttons you need to use to either shoot or to detonate a screen clearing blast. I'm not sure how deliberate the simplicity of these controls are, but alongside the incredible soundtrack from Pock Lord and the wonderful pixels and sprites, they definitely give me NES and Master System nostalgia, which is always a welcome thing when it's done well. There are three stages in total, each with a boss fight, and a full playthrough of the game with no deaths or game overs will take, on average, only between 15 to 20 minutes. But that short time is not to be sniffed at, because it really is so tightly designed and with such a good scoring system that you'll keep coming back time and time again. There are lots of enemy types spread throughout, and for a game so short, there's an impressive variety in the backgrounds and level design too, as you find yourself constantly experiencing new combinations of obstacles to get through. It's a perfectly polished little thing. It can be played by casuals just wanting a nice shooter experience in its infinite lives mode, but also, going back to that scoring system, for every enemy you kill, your combo increases, and if you fail to take out any enemies for a few seconds, then of course you lose that combo. It's fairly straightforward really, but as with all of the best shmups, it can give the game an almost puzzle-like structure for experienced players who are looking to try and maximise the potential of their run. There's even a speedrun scoreboard that I'm happy to sit third place on. For a game that's seemingly so simple in lore, there's actually a great sense of environmental storytelling as well. In the first few levels, you feel like a hero defending your home world against invaders. But then as you progress and get to the enemy planet and start bombing houses yourself, the music takes a slight turn, and perhaps it's just me, but it really does get across this sense of, are we the baddies? And it's really not often that I walk away from a shmup feeling that way, as normally the fights are kind of glorified, right? I find it super interesting and just another glimpse at the talents of Paulo Lameras. All in all, Solar Blast is great, an all original nostalgia trip packed to the brim with quality. A must play for anyone with dreams, and if you don't have dreams yet, then why not? You can probably get it cheap, and this is just one of thousands of top tier games that exist within it. There's really a whole shmup scene, and hopefully I'll be covering more of them in the future. But it's not just shmups that are in dreams, and this isn't even the only game that Paulo Romeros has made. I really recommend checking out their whole back catalogue for all sorts of varied but quality experiences, and they're even currently working on what looks like a top tier boomer shooter FPS in Protoland. It's got a full demo available now, and it's always exciting to see them post updates about it on their Twitter. Anyway, look, this is All Star signing out. It's been fun. Do you need to use to either shoot or to detonate a screen? A, 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 a screen? Do you use? And either. Uh, I really recommend checking out. Uh, there are three stages in total.